Welcome back to In Response EDH. As always, I'm your host, Albert, and I'm glad you can join us for another great Commander gameplay video. Today we have a fun one for you. What do you get when the night is winding down and the group wants to squeeze in one last game? You get a Rakdos group slug game like today's. This week, each one of our players is looking to inflict as much pain on one another, all while playing a Rakdos commander. First up, we have Sam, playing his Greven deck, and he keeps an opening hand with Dictate of Erebos, Bedevil, Talisman of Indulgence, Malakir Rebirth, Blood Crypt, Rakdos Guildgate, and a Mountain. Next we have Sean, and he's playing Mogus, God of Slaughter. He keeps an Arcane Signet, Kroxa, Titan of Death's Hunger, Decree of Annihilation, Tainted Peak, Exotic Orchard, and two Mountains. Alec is back, and he's playing his Croaks of Titan of Death's Hunger deck. His starting hand consists of Swiftfoot Boots, Megram, Haunt of Hightower, a Luxury Suite, Exotic Orchard, and two Swamps. Last but not least, Chris is back, and this time he's playing Neheb the Worthy. He decides to start the game off with Mask of Avacyn, Everlasting Torment, Bottomless Pit, Dark Suspicions, Dragon School Summit, Rakdos Guildgate, and a Swamp. Before we get started, we would like to remind you, if you enjoy our content and would like to support the channel, consider becoming a patron. When you do, you're not only contributing to the channel's growth, but you're also being entered in our monthly giveaways, as well as receiving patron-only perks. All proceeds of our Patreon are reinvested back into the channel to bring you the best content possible. We would also like to thank our new sponsor, Dragon Shield. Hit the link in the description of this video to check out the best products out there to protect your cardboard. You can also support the channel by using our affiliate link when purchasing product on TCG Player. With that said, and the introductions out of the way, let's start the game. Sam wins the die roll and starts by playing a tapped Blood Crypt and passes. Alec plays a Luxury Suite and passes. Chris drops a tapped Rakdos Guildgate. And then Sean plays an Exotic Orchard. Sam then plays a basic mountain, then taps both lands to cast the Talisman of Indulgence. Alec then starts his turn, and also plays an Exotic Orchard. He taps both lands to cast a Swiftfoot Boots. Chris then drops a mountain on the field. He then taps out to cast the Mask of Avacyn. But I have Our the best turn to play. Oh, oh. oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs> Everyone takes damage. Hey man, what's your phone, dude? Sam starts turn three by playing a tapped Guildgate and just passing the turn, leaving Sean a little disappointed by his decision. Don't worry, I'll be taking damage. Census <laughs> <laughs> is that we're here for a good time, not for a long time? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Chris then taps three to cast Everlasting Torment, effectively shutting off Sam's game plan. I get game life? Oh. <laughs> 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 This guy's gotta keep you. It's more like one day. Oh my god. Let's go, Sam. This is really bad. Wow. <laughs> Sam then plays a Tarnished Citadel as his land for turn and remembers to lose his life from the Vortex. He then taps out to cast his commander, Grevin, Predator Captain. Alex starts his turn taking two damage from the Vortex and plays a Swamp. He then takes two to cast a Fell War Stone and another two to cast his commander, Kroxa, Titan of Death Sunger. As it enters, each of his opponents discards a card. <laughs> See, Angrath is trying to win. And you'll take two, and then you'll discard, you'll take two. Oh, you'll take five. <laughs> Chris starts by also taking two damage, and then plays a Dragon School Summit. He then taps out to cast a Dark Suspicions. Sean then takes one damage from the Suspicions and two from the Vortex. He then loses two to cast an Idol onto the Great Revel to punish everyone a bit more, followed by his own Kroxa taking two more damage. 
Uh, oh, I'll take. Oh my god. No, I'll do it the other way. For this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Sam and Chris both take two damage because of the Megram. Croxa then goes to the graveyard, and Sean passes. Sam then starts by losing three life to everything on board, and just decides to swing his commander at Chris for eight commander damage. Eight, 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 eight to you, sir. Yeah. And then what else you got? Uh, nothing, because I'm just going to hit myself. Alec only loses two life to the Vortex, since he has the same amount of cards in his hand as Chris. He then takes four damage to cast a Glinthorn Buccaneer. He then moves to equip it with the boots, but in response, Sam snaps off a Bedevil to destroy it and takes four damage in the process. With nothing else, Alec ends his turn. Chris takes his two damage and then plays a mountain. Oh my god, there's so many things to consider here. Like, <laughs> why are we here? Just, just to suffer. <laughs> are we okay. here just to suffer? Oh yeah, my you god. <laughs> this is the worst. Chris takes four damage to cast that spell and then passes to Sean. Sean rolls a dice to decide what card to discard. He takes one damage from the Suspicions and two from Megram. Followed by another two from Sulfuric Vortex. He then plays a Tainted Peak as his land for turn and decides to add to the punishment some more by casting his commander, Mogus, God of Slaughter. He then moves to combat and swings his idol on at Alec. Sam then walks away from the table so the guys help him get caught up with all his triggers, losing two from the Vortex, two from Dark Suspicions, and two from Megram as he discards from the bottomless pit. He then comes back to the table and starts his turn. <laughs> Mana Crypt, take four. <laughs> I took six. <laughs> he then plays a Malakir Rebirth as his land drop. And after that, he loses another three life from the Citadel to cast Heartless Headed Suku. Hey, he didn't even take the damage for the Mogus. So. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Is that so 20? Yeah. 20. He's 20. He's 20. He's 20. Yeah. 20. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm just going to die on my turn to these things, aren't I? Well, you should hit him then. Yeah. I don't. No, you can sack to. to oh, he's saying you can sack your. I'm going to take another damage. Why? I'm going to hit you for 21. Because okay. you're just going to kill me on, on my upkeep. <laughs> I, I don't... He knocks Sean out in one swing and passes to Alec. Alec then loses a life to the Suspicions and discards a card randomly. It's an Asylum Visitor and Alec decides to cast it for its madness cost. Alec then moves to combat and swings his Visitor at Chris for 3 damage. <laughs> Man, that's why you should have killed Alec first. Because <laughs> Alec is just going to kill you now. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> three, three, three. Chris then discards and loses 2 life. Oh no, we're, we're, oh, we're nice. going to speed this up. <laughs> and take 2 for that. How? You have no life. You can't even gain life. <laughs> Chris is still alive. I didn't say I was going to win. <laughs> <laughs> Heartless I said I'm going to speed this up. <laughs> Heartless Heartless Chris then chooses to cast his commander, Neheb the Worthy. These things. <laughs> oh, bog you, sir? I don't know. Sure, bog me. <laughs> no, no, no. Don't do anything with yeah. that. It's your turn. Roll for the... No question. Um, <laughs> you should have just kept the mana corrupt in your hand. You would have just discarded no, it. No, I get to choose. Okay, what, uh, what, uh, what? Evens. Evens, I take damage? <laughs> <laughs> you want that to happen, don't you? Sam then draws his card, and since he had no cards on his upkeep, Alec draws a card and loses a life with the vampire. He then moves to combat, and Sean helps him out by tapping his talisman to lose another life. Look, you're just at higher life, okay? okay. I'm gonna hit you for 80. It's like... Right. Psych! Half your damn that life! <laughs> Round it down! So and I die! Alright! <laughs> so we both got six. <laughs> I, right. I, I do not want the, the the honor of dying to my own mana crypt again. Right. I don't want to uh -huh. do it for, for the sure. whole internet to see. I take three, right? <laughs> <laughs> I have my pride here. Hard. Alec then starts his turn and loses three from the suspicions and randomly discards a card. He then draws for turn, and pays 2 to cast a Lightning Greaves, 
followed by a surly badger sore, which he immediately equips with the greaves and passes the turn. On Chris's upkeep, he loses a life and draws a card. Chris draws for turn and casts a hero's blade. With nothing else, he equips it to this commander and ends his turn. Alec then starts a turn by losing one life to the Suspicions and discarding his only card to Bottomless Pit. When he does, the Badger Store will get a plus one plus one counter on it since it was a creature card. He then draws for turn and moves straight to combat and swings both creatures at Chris. Chris blocks and kills the bigger of the two and takes three damage. After that, Alec escapes his commander from the graveyard. Since Chris doesn't have a card to discard, he takes three life and loses the game. Well, that was a fun, fast, and painful game. Congratulations, Alec. <laughs> Did you guys catch the mistake during Sam's last turn? Sam was so quick to scoop, the math was incorrect. Alec actually should have taken nine commander damage since Sam lost four life that last turn, leaving him at 12 instead of 13. Since Heartless Headed Suku deals damage equal to half the player's life total rounded down, Alec was correct by going to six, but Chris should have been left at seven life instead of six. This changes the outcome of the game, because after Alec's croaks are resolved, Chris would have been left at one life. This would have allowed Alec to die to his own Asylum Visitor on Chris's upkeep, since it's not a May ability. This error wasn't caught until I finally got around to completing the edit, and rather than wasting such a fun game, I decided to use it anyways. Alec did have a winning line he may have taken if the life totals were correct, and that's escape Kroxa before combat and equipped it with the Greaves to attack. But would he have seen that line? We can't be sure. As it stands, we'll just say congratulations Chris on another win on the channel. If you feel upset by the outcome of the game, please feel free to direct all your hate at Sam in the comment section for playing Heartless Headed Suku. Well that's it for this week. Hope you enjoyed it. Again, we're not professionals and mistakes do happen. So with that said, make sure to like the video and leave a comment. And if you aren't already subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Before we go, we'd like to give a big thank you to our amazing patrons. We are glad to have your support and thankful for each and every one of you. We here at InResponse would like to thank you for watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe and make sure you follow us on our social medias. We also stream every Friday night at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Thank you for watching. Have an awesome day.